Now we are going to understand another terminology which is a primitive statement. A primitive statement is a proposition that cannot be broken down into a simpler statement. Okay. So what we have talked about up till now. So P which says George Washington was the first American president is a primitive statement because I cannot make it any simpler. Okay. The same is the case with Q and S. Okay. So what is a primitive statement? It is a statement that cannot be broken down anything simpler. Okay. That cannot be broken down into anything simpler. Okay, a proposition that cannot be broken down into anything simpler. Broken down into anything simpler. So, using primitive statements, we can form complex statements. Okay. We can form different forms of complex statement also known as compound propositions. Okay. So what is a compound proposition? Compound propositions are primitive propositions connected together with connectives. Okay. So I'm just going to write down over here that this is compound not T but a D. Okay. Compound propositions are two or more primitive propositions tied together with a connective. Okay. Tied together with a connective. We are going to see what a connective is. So how do we form a compound proposition? So let's suppose I have a proposition. Let's call it as P and I'm going to say that P stands for Roy is playing in the field. Okay. Roy is playing in the field. So how can you create a new proposition from this proposition? One way is to negate this statement. Okay. So what I can do is I can say not of P. Okay. This symbol stands for negation. Okay. So when I say not of P, it basically means that Roy is not playing in the field. Okay. Is not playing in the field. So this is a negation. Just understand one thing that when I say not of P or when I write it as not of P, it means that this is not a primitive statement. Okay. Negation of a primitive statement is not a primitive statement. Negation of a primitive statement is not primitive. Okay. So you can call a negation as a compound statement. Okay. So if I have to give you the definition of compound proposition, then it would be two or more primitive propositions combined with a connective or negated. Okay. Or negated. Okay. So now it's not going to be two or more but can be one or more. Okay. 
so even if you take one primitive statement and negate it you are going to end up with a compound proposition okay so this was about my negation then the other ways through which i can create new propositions from a primitive proposition is i can take a conjunction okay next is conjunction conjunction is also known as a connective okay we have many different types of connectives out of which the first one that we are going to see is conjunction so let me first put a heading saying that now i am concentrating on connectives okay connectives they combine two or more propositions okay so first connective we are looking at is conjunction conjunction is also known as the and okay so it is similar to the concept of and in the normal english language also it is quite similar to while and but so let's see what it is i already have a proposition which is roy is playing in the field let me just copy it over here i'm going to paste it okay let us have one more proposition q let's suppose it says that jim is studying in his room okay studying in his room so if i say p okay conjunction q the symbol is conjunction okay so i am just going to place it over here so that you remember that conjunction is the symbol just like we had the symbol for negation like this okay conjunction stands for what stands for and so this basically means that roy is playing in the field okay and jim is studying in his room okay so this proposition stands for this since we said that a conjunction can be used to represent any of and while and but i can also read it as roy is playing in the field but jim is studying in his room okay instead of and i can have but okay and i can also say it as roy is playing in the field while jim is studying in his room okay so if you have any of but and and while you can use a conjunction to join together two propositions okay just understand that when we are talking about a conjunction then the conjunction in itself is true that is this compound statement is true only when both of the primitive statements are true okay so p conjunction q is true only when roy is indeed playing in the field and jim is indeed studying in his room okay if jim is not studying in his room then p conjunction q is false okay so for this conjunction to be true all the primitive statements that it comprises of should be true 